If you want more time, money, freedom, and have a business that's not reliant on you, then you're in the right place. Each week, Mark Creeden, along with some of the very best business minds in the world, will take you through simple, practical steps you can take to create the business you always wanted. From his own practical experience, Mark will show you how to work less, make more, and get the business you always wanted, the one that you deserve. Now here's your host, one of Australia's most sought-after business coaches, Mark Creeden. Well, welcome back to the next episode of the Mastermind for Business podcast. I'm your host, Mark Creeden. Hey, in this session, I've got a super special guest uh, joining me in the studio. In this session, we're going to talk about what what can kids teach us about business, right? Um, about three years ago, I did a session with my grandson, Isaiah, called What Can a Six-Year-Old Teach You About Business? And we came up with five things that I think are really relevant, and they're even more relevant now, I think, than they were three years ago. So joining me in the studio, I've got my grandson, Isaiah. Hey, Izzy. Hi, Bob. Hey, great to have you here. Let's talk about, because I think, I think, Izzy, that, um, that I think that the advantage of kids is that they don't kind of get caught up in a lot of the things that we adults do. And so you can, I think you can teach us lots of things about business. And one of the things we spoke about uh, last time, three years ago, can you believe it was three years ago, by the way? No. no. Where's that gone? So now that you're a big nine-year-old, let's talk about some basics, I think, that applies to kids as much as it does to business. And number one is the importance of budgeting. Do you budget with your money? Yeah. And do you have a set do you have a set way of budgeting? So do you get paid pocket money? Uh, yes. Yep. Yeah. And do you earn that pocket money? Does it just come to you or do you have to work for it? Work for it. Right. So you have to do chores? Yes. Yeah? And you get the chores, you get your money. Yeah. And then what do you do with the money? Um, I'll either save it or I'll uh, get something to do when I'm bored with it. Okay, so you try to find something that's kind of value as well, yeah. and then you save some of it too. Yeah. Right, so it's important about not just making the money, but what you do with it and where you spend it. So, because otherwise it'd be easy just to go and spend it on what lollies and chocolates and yeah. mind you, that's okay too, though, isn't it? Every now and then. Mm-hmm. All right, we spoke about the importance of budgeting. So it's not about um, how much money you get, but it's about what you do with the money. That's really important. Great lesson. Great lesson to teach your kids. But the other thing we spoke about was. Following your passion, what's something that you're passionate about? Um, my schoolwork. Your schoolwork and you play sports? Yes. Yeah? Do you love your sport? Yes. What do you play? Soccer. It's funny me asking you the question because I know. Now I go watch your games. So, Izzy, what do you what do you love about soccer? I love how it's a team sport and you have to work together to be able to score the goal. Right. Okay. So this is a really important lesson, I think, because I think that one of the great things, one one of the one of the difficult things, I suppose, about being in business, particularly if it's a small business or you know professional practice, is that you can get a bit lonely. You're trying to do things on your own. Yeah. But if you were trying to just score every goal in the soccer game, it probably wouldn't work, would it? No. So you have to work as a team. Yeah. What do you What do you reckon? helps you to work as a team. Getting to know each other better. Yeah, getting to know each other better. And what about when you're when you're on the field playing during during a game, what do you think helps? Communication. Yeah, actually communicating with each other. Because I've watched you not just Saturday go on the Saturday before and you were calling out to each other and passing the ball and and really working as a team. Did you play last Saturday? Couple of days ago? Yeah. Yeah. Did you win? Yes. Yeah, what was the score? Um, I'm pretty sure it was two zero. Right, two nil. That's pretty cool. And you did that because you communicated, got to know the people around you. Yeah, I don't really like it, the idea of, of better communication, better teamwork. Good stuff. One of the other things we spoke about three years ago is was the importance of of having fun. How, like, because you've got a lot of schoolwork. What grade are you in now? Three. Grade three, lots of schoolwork. 
lots of practice. How would it be if if all you did was schoolwork and then your soccer practice was just kind of you know boring practice? How would that be? It just wouldn't feel right, and it would make the world a very different place. It would make the world a different place because we wouldn't be having some fun yeah. in the process. So, how important is having fun to you? Very important. Yeah, yeah. I think there's always time to have fun, and you come into the office here and you see that we have a bit of fun as well. So we work hard, but we also have a bit of fun in the process too. Okay. Isaiah, one of the other things we spoke about was, um, apart from apart from you know what we spoke about so far around having fun, great teamwork, budgeting, following your passion, we also spoke about the concept that um, you've always got to make sure that that. The, your, your family, we spoke about family, right? And, and something you said to me three years ago was family is more than your household. What does that mean? It means that family is very important. Yeah. And is it just the people inside your home that make up your family? No, it's the people that I guess are related to you. Yeah. Related to you or, the, or the, that you have a genuine that you genuinely love or care for. Yeah. And I think it's the same thing in, in your workplace that, you know, family in, in, a, in a workplace is more than maybe just the people in the office. Maybe it's the people that sort of, you know, expand a bit, aspect, expand a bit beyond that as well. Yeah. Let's talk about family. Why is family important to you? Well, because they really help you and this might save things that you won't like, but it's always for a good cause. Oh, that's a really, that's just mildly impressive, can I say. But, so, family sometimes will say things that you don't like. Mm. Like what? What might family say that you don't like? But So, what you're saying is that family will say things that you might not like to hear, but that you have to hear or that you should hear? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Have you got an example? Well, this morning I was doing my Lego and then mum said to stop, otherwise we would have been late for school. Right. Okay, so sometimes somebody like a parent or, a, you know, a manager, a boss yeah. might tell you something that you don't want to hear, but there's a bigger picture. Yeah. There's a bigger um, outcome. Yeah. yeah. So you wanted to keep playing with your Lego, but you would have been late for school. Yes. So it's okay to hear things that you don't really want to hear sometimes. Yeah. 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 If you hear things that you don't want to hear and it's okay, why is it okay for family to say that and maybe not strangers, do you think? Well, it's because family, uh, well, you know them and then and you always know that when they say something, it's always to help you. Where strangers don't know you and they don't know what's best for you. Right. Okay, so if we're talking about being in the workplace, again, this gets back to the, the importance of communication, the importance of teamwork. Yes. Yeah. What about teamwork? So we spoke about teamwork in the, on the soccer field. What about teamwork at home? Is, is your family at home a bit of a team? Yes. Yeah. And how does teamwork work there, do you think? Well, whenever we have to get ready for something, we work as a team and we have to listen to each other and so we can get there on time. Right. Again, again, somebody kind of in control, if you like, has got, mm, you know, a bigger plan. Yeah. Yeah. And they need to help you to address that plan. Yes. I really like what, um, I like what we're going here with teamwork, with communication, listening to each other, that it's perfectly okay for family to have those conversations. I'm just looking through our notes, Izzy, from what we spoke about last time. One of the other things you said is that you love to ask why. So that yeah. was when you were six. Do you still ask why now? Definitely. Why? I'm going to ask you why. Why do you ask why? Well, because I think sometimes it's very important to know why, I yeah. guess, and to know what's going to happen. Right, so that you get the whole picture. So, for example, yeah. if your mum had said this morning, just stop playing with your Lego. Yeah. 
Would it have made it? Did it make a difference to you when she said, "Because otherwise you'll be late for school"? Yeah. So she explained the why. Yeah. See, it's one of the things, Izzy, that we always say to um, to our mastermind coaching clients: if you really want people to do something for you, you've got to help them to understand the why behind it. Yeah. Because if they understand the why, they're far more likely to actually do it. Yes. So does that mean that you do everything your mum and dad tell you to once you know the why? Mm. Yes. Careful, your mum will probably be listening to this. <laughs> oh, hang on. Mum's actually in the room. She's watching this. <laughs> All right. So teamwork, communication, understanding why, fitting to your passion, and finding time to play. Just go back to this this concept of finding time to play. So, do you have fun at school? Yes, definitely. And do you have fun at school other than at, at play times, like at lunch times? Do you have fun in the classroom? Uh, yes, yeah, sometimes. Yeah. So, would you say that even though you're having fun in the classroom, you're still learning? Yes. Right. So it's okay to have some fun and learn at the same time? Yeah. Do you think it makes it any easier to learn if you're having fun? Definitely. What do you, what do you like about learning and having fun at the same time? Well, I like learning and having fun because there's always something that to look forward to and to and at the time you're having a really fun time and then in the future it won't, it won't just be fun, but it will also help you. Right, so you've learned it and now you, you're keeping more of that knowledge. You're, re, you're retaining that knowledge. You're keeping more of that knowledge yeah. because you're having fun at the same time. Yes. Yeah, so you think you learn better when you're having some fun? Yes. Mm, that was pretty emphatic yes on that one. I think it's a really important thing that we, we make sure we have some fun. Hey, Izzy, yeah. so it's been three years. Mm-hmm. You're back here. Do you think you'll come back and do this again when you're 12? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. We might even chat to you before then, eh? Yeah. All right. Thank you, mate. It's so good to have you on the podcast with me. Thank you for letting me be on the podcast. You're welcome. I love you, buddy. All right, guys. Um, that's a wrap for the latest edition of uh, Mastermind for Business podcast uh, with the one, the only, Isaiah De La Cruz, my uh, nine-year-old grandson. Um, hey, these are the sort of things that we teach our clients all the time. If, if you... Uh, if you know somebody who's in a professional practice or a service business and you think they'd really benefit from what you've heard today or across our podcast, please share the podcast, like it, subscribe. If you are in a professional practice or a service business and you'd like to learn these sorts of things that we teach our clients all the time, in fact, if you'd like to have spend half the amount of time in your business earning double your income in 18 months or less, metropolemastermind.com.au the podcast you'll find wherever you subscribe to podcasts or mastermindforbusiness.com.au. I'm Mark Reed and we'll see you next time.